Core strengthening exercises for L405 disc bulge. Core strengthening exercises for L5S1 disc bulge. What to do, when to do it. In this video, I'm going to show you four great beginner core strengthening exercises for strengthening the back when someone has an L405 disc bulge injury or even an L5S1 disc bulge injury, either disc bulge or herniation. Let's get started right now. And remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Hey there, my name is Dr. Walter Slubro. I'm a corrective care chiropractor in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. Welcome to my channel. We provide corrective chiropractic methods to restore spinal alignment and posture as close as possible to a good normal alignment to help relieve pressure and irritation on the spine and nervous system, help reduce inflammation and pain and return people back to overall good quality and better quality of life and health. Now I have a ton of videos on L405 disc bulge. Some of them are on exercises and I'll put the exercise one right up here. It has great uh, exercises for stretching and mobility. And, uh, and then I have a bunch of other suggested videos on my channel that I've created. So look at it in the description below. I've had many, many people come to my office with chronic back pain conditions, chronic disc bulge conditions, um, pain and symptoms related to disc bulges, whether it's L405 disc bulge or L5S1 disc bulge. And they've tried all sorts of therapies like physiotherapy and acupuncture and massage and, and functional rehab type things, medications, injections. They've had all kinds of tests and MRIs. And I may even be describing what you're going through. I, I hear this on a regular, regular basis. And one of the things that I've noticed is that that's been missing in their journey of, of correction and healing is correcting the spine. So cor something that, that like corrective chiropractic care has been missing. And that makes um, this methodology unique and different because not only does it help to alleviate the symptoms and reduce the ir irritation inflammation on the spine that um, that's that's from a disc bulge injury or, or herniation, but also helps to restore the spinal alignment and structure to the spine to, to a better position to have a longer lasting effect of correction healing. And that's what we do in our office. Now, one of the most common mistakes that people do when it comes to trying to do some form of exercise for injuries of a disc bulge. And let me show you what that looks like right here in this model right here. So here's a spinal model. You see that red part right there, right there? That's an example of a disc bulge injury. So right up there, I'll put it up nice and high and nice and close right there. That's an example of a disc bulge injury in the lower part of the spine and uh, there's a lot of reasons why that can happen. The most common is some form of degeneration that's occurred over time due to misalignments of the spine or, or abnormal structural alignment of the spine that cause wear and tear in the spine and other discs uh, that cause the disc to herniate. And when they become symptomatic, they're very, very painful. And one of the most common mistakes is is, is how people approach this with care or treatment. And what's important is to, uh, very important before any exercises are done, that the actual spine is rehabilitated properly into a better structural alignment and position. So it should be straight from the front and have normal curvy alignments from the side. And after that's corrected with methodologies, and one example would be corrective chiropractic um, types of treatments and methods, which we employ and use in our office, then you start the exercise process. So in this video, I'm gonna actually demonstrate four simple, easy to do, beginner core strengthening exercises. I'll actually demonstrate them in a series of videos uh, in this video. And um, before I do that, let me tell you when to do them, okay? now. Here's a disclaimer. So if I, this gets asked a lot in my, in my comments below in the questions, if um, any exercise can potentially cause you injury or pain while you're doing them or is causing injury or pain while you do them, then do not do the exercise. Very, very simple. Not every exercise is specific and appropriate for every single individual or patient and you should always be screened and cleared by your particular doctor. I, I don't know your full clinical picture and full um, presentation of, of symptomatology and, and haven't assessed your spine or back, so I can't know specifically what's good for you or not, but your, your uh, attending doctor, the doctor you're seeing or therapist, hopefully would have a good understanding of the structure of your spine and what needs to be done and what needs to be done. So generally speaking, these are some general things to consider. 
I wouldn't start with core exercises right from the beginning. The first thing that needs to be done is to reduce the strain and pressure and irritation and inflammation on the spine, especially that disc, the disc injury at the very bottom right there. That's the first thing that needs to be done. And there's a bunch of different ways that you can do that. One of the ways that we use is structural correction of the spine or adjustments of the spine uh, through chiropractic adjustments and chiropractic, corrective chiropractic care. Then what's important is to begin some mobility work. Mobility work, get the spine mobilized. Um, I use pelvic tilts and wobble chairs for our patients. And then after that, you wanna start some stre light stretching exercises, always within tolerance. Once the inflammation and pain has subsided, once um, the leg pain has subsided, once the irritation in the back has subsided and um, the, the mobility exercises become more tolerable and the stretching exercises become more tolerable, then I want to consider adding core strengthening exercises. So I usually do that later on in the program. We never start with core strengthening exercises first because you, it doesn't make sense, and this is the biggest mistake, it doesn't make sense to strengthen a back that is out of position. So you wanna position it and correct it into a proper alignment because if that misalignment is what's causing the disc bulge in the first place, then you need to correct that misalignment first and we use corrective chiropractic methods to do that. Once the structure of the spine is more stabilized, then you want to begin to do the mobility stretching and then the core exercises. So you want to strengthen, functionally strengthen, a spine that's structurally aligned in its proper position or a better position than it when first came in, when if, then when the, the, then when the injury first started. So that's key, key, key. That's why I usually keep core strengthening exercises later on. So that's when you should do them, okay? So um, having said that, let me demonstrate these four, okay, four Core, core strengthening exercises are really great, simple, easy to do, can be done at home or with your therapist or doctor in the office. So let me start with number one right now through four and I'll come back to you in just a moment.
back. It's Dr. Walter here again, and I hope you enjoyed the demonstration of those four exercises, and I hope you found them uh, very helpful and useful. Remember, um, only do them if they're tolerable, if the irritation is not too advanced, and always get guidance from your specific doctor or therapist that knows your specific conditions. Very, very important. But at least I hope you found the process uh, useful and understanding, and, and see how it can fit into your actual care program and rehabilitation program. Now, if you enjoyed this, please uh, leave a comment in the comments below. I love to answer to our uh, comments. And if you have any questions, any general questions, let me know as well. And also hit that thumbs up like button below. And also share with someone that you know may find this useful. Maybe it's one of your forums or uh, one of your uh, websites or a playlist or a family member or friend. Just uh, share it with them. You can text it or message it to them as well, that link, the share link. And of course, if you're brand new to this channel and you like this content and you want to see more of this type of content, Content and how corrective chiropractic care and, and, and the tips and, and, and techniques and strategies to help alleviate chronic pain and get you to a better quality of life, then go ahead and hit that red subscribe button below so you don't miss out on these type of videos. This is Dr. Walter here signing out and I'll see you on the next video. To learn more about how corrective chiropractic care at Back to Health Chiropractic Center can help you with your chronic pain problem, visit www.ibthcc.com. Back to Health Chiropractic Center is located at 20 Cranston Park Avenue, number 6, Vaughan, Ontario, L6A2W2.